turning 21. Uh, what a crazy year this has been. I mean, 2020 must have been the craziest year I've definitely experienced so far in terms of the world, but also as an individual within this world, I feel like I experienced quite a lot for the better as well. I think it's all life's always about learning. Wherever life throws at you, the way you react to how it's thrown at you is the way you can overcome it. My mindset on tackling problems and, and how to overcome them has definitely developed since last last video I made. I'm excited to update, I guess, my own sort of journal for year by year to see how my mind's developing and how I'm developing as a person and what my beliefs are, what my beliefs are in life in general. Following on from last video, I'm now 21. I'm making this video a month later. It's It's been, like I said, a hectic year for everyone, not just me. Yeah, I wasn't comfortable making this video in October, but I'm back now. I'm feeling more like myself, more energized, more more like me. And so I'm ha I'm happy to make this video about for me and for anyone else who wants to to tune in and and hear what I have to say about life and different topics on life. One thing that's really resonated with me within the last year, from turning twenty or that from twenty to twenty one, is patience. I think patience is one thing a lot of people my age and a generation as a whole really struggle with and it's because we live in such a developed world now with technology that everything's so instant so you know when you don't get that instant uh, package from wherever you order from you know next day delivery or you know you upload a photo on a social media app you don't get those instant comments those likes you get a bit frustrated and it, it transfers into other aspects of your life i think patience really is something everyone needs to understand and have the reason why my eyes been open towards patience a lot more is because i'm well the last year i've been like teaching myself how to trade and trading is all about patience funny enough <laughs> and it's changes your mindset completely not on just just trading and investing but in in life in general and how everything's so instant and it helps it's helped me take a step back in life and, and look at the bigger picture rather than such short term things but at the same time uh I've realized having a long term goal is obviously very good, but never forget to plan the little small goals to get to that long term goal and I found myself especially at the start of lockdown lost with the big goal because it felt so overwhelming. Until I start implementing these small incremental goals to achieve the big goal, that's when my mindset sort of even, even improved even more. I think lockdown really helped a lot of people stop because life's always about going and going. But when the whole of the world just comes to a stop, a halt, it makes you realize, whoa, like, let's take a look back at what I've achieved and let's take, let's plan steps on what I want to achieve in the future. You know, it, it, it made, made me question what's my why like what is what's why am i here but also it helped me realize the steps i needed to take to get to where i want to be obviously you know life's never going to be a, a straight upwards climb it's going to be rocky it's going to be wavy and i think me coming to terms with that this year was really it was hard but it was almost like eye opening because now i understand there's no rush it's, it, life's not a sprint it's a marathon so me adopting this mindset has really helped me put less pressure on myself but at the same time really enjoy the moment that you're living in because without you know if you if you're so focused on the future but so caught up in the past you're never living in the present so you know my one of my, my main mantras in life is to make memories right and if i'm so caught up in the future how am i going to make memories in the present if i'm not doing anything in the present i'm so my mind was so lost in the future that i wasn't enjoying my time in the present and the, and it's all about the journey it's all about the process from a to b to b to c to c to d and until you get to the goal that you have now which will forever keep changing because once you hit that goal there's going to be another goal there's always going to be a goal so i think it's nice for me to finally realize or come to i guess it's finally nice to have an enlightenment towards that. Another sort of mantra I guess I picked up was the world really does owe you nothing. Like if you adopt that mindset, you will work so much harder. Like there's 
there's n no doubt in my mind that it's, as soon as you say, right, this world owes me nothing, I've got work for everything, you will want, your work ethic will be incredible. This mantra of the world owes you nothing has really helped me work harder. It's, it really helped me to achieve more goals and more things within the day. Because at the end of the day, you know, if you if you're if you have that mindset of you not being entitled to anything, and it it'll, it'll make you get out there and want more and work harder and you know want you to achieve everything that you want to achieve as a person. Another another valuable valuable thing I have learned is time. Time is 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 your currency. Time is life's currency, right? And so don't waste it. Just don't, don't waste it. I, uh, lockdown was very hard for me because you were so restricted on what you could do that it was hard to be like, oh, let's not waste. It was hard for me to accept that. Slow down. You can't do a lot right now. You've like physically restricted and mentally restricted in an environment for in the UK. It was three around three months, two to three months, and putting so much pressure on myself to achieve so much and in, in such a confined environment was a silly because you push it you're almost trying to take a leap forward in a in a cage which isn't open yet you need to wait for the cage to open this is where i learned my patience and and then take the opportunity when it's presented to you you can't force an opportunity that's not there when the circumstances were so extreme wasting time for me now is i always have in the back of my mind that i, I want to keep sort of achieving stuff or keep moving and moving i just want to keep moving i don't want to i'm i guess i'm 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 fueled a bit by fear of plateauing because i know that if i plateau that means i'm getting lazy i'm not doing anything i'm not it makes me feel useless and if at the end of the day if you one of the reasons why people feel bad or people get depressed is because they feel like they have no purpose and if and that's one of my fears if i feel like i have no purpose and i've been there before if i feel like i have no purpose again then it will bring back all the horrible thoughts, and to get out of that hole, you got for me. I got to keep busy. I got to, you know, do X, Y, Z throughout the day, throughout the week, throughout the month, and make sure, just for me mentally, that I keep sane. Next point, I, I want to. I've come into come into life from the start of this year, 2020. Um, always ask why. Always ask why, or at least at least think it. Like it, it can be applied to anything. Asking why has helped me understand different topics and aspects of life more because if you take a step back and ask yourself right why do i want to why do i want to run you know say it maybe seems so uh, basic and at surface level but the reason why i want to run is to set myself this goal to set myself to feel healthier and and to get out the house more especially during these times where you, people are more stuck at inside to push myself out of the comfort zone to to feel that uncomfortableness and feel that growth of not only physically but also mentally so for me asking why i do anything or why things are happening in life has helped me have a more deeper understanding or a more eye-opening understanding to different aspects be respectful simple as just be respectful until otherwise i guess until disrespected don't don't go on a high horse thinking you're the best just be humble be respectful Simple, two simple, two simple words: humble and respectful. You never know what someone's going through. I think being respectful, in general, to everyone and anyone, is always key. If someone, if someone starts showing disrespect, disrespect to you, completely understandable. Don't, don't let them waste your time. Don't let them, you know, don't tolerate them. But I think it's very important to always go in with an open mind and and respect everyone's, you know, opinions or beliefs until disrespected a very hard pill for me to swallow was being nice isn't always a good thing without sounding like it's too big-headed i'm quite a generous person so for me i've realized and i've always known but i, I realize that people will take advantage of you because you're so nice i've been through it before and i know it sometimes when it happens but there's if anyone's who's watching this is it feels the same way you got to know even if you know you know you're being taken advantage of is there's going to be situations where you need to put your foot down and say no you can't always be a yes man there's got you got a there's a point where your self-respect is almost completely gone because of 
you saying yes to everything and anything. So it's important to realize that at the end of the day, you got to look out for yourself the most because you're you. You know, no one else can look out for you the most apart from you. So make sure you have some self-respect for yourself sometimes. Sometimes less is more. I think this sort of mindset was from a minimalistic approach where, you know, you have all the essential things. You don't need anything else, you know. You don't need all these flashy cars, you know, jewelry, all that. Sometimes you having all the essentials and being happier is actually more beneficial than than you know all the mater- materialistic things. Obviously, it's dependent on the person. And the, and also the reason why I thought less is more for me, anyways, is I noticed that sometimes a small amount of work per day is actually more beneficial than a large amount per day. Especially for you know for me personally for investing, small amount of time. But consistently has been actually more in in terms of everything than if I did it more per day, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, I think that was a little that was a little mindset just for me, just to look back on. Nothing in life is certain. That is true and also scary. I mean, if you look at life, if I look at life from where I'm sat right now and imagine there's a road ahead of me and just looking straight out the road. You know, there's there's no certainty in anything. There's no certainty in the future because the future hasn't happened. So that's where the scariness comes in because it's you you it's the fear of the unknown. And coming to terms with that and accepting it is actually a really positive thing because then you've come over the fear of the unknown. Like you it's like, it's accepting that I can't control the future, neither can you. No one can control the future. So you accept that the future's uncertain, right? I understand now times are even more uncertain, but the future's uncertain. You've got to make the most of what I said earlier, the present now, to try and increase and better your future. Even though you don't know what it is or what it might be, just focus on now. Just to reduce your anxiety in the world, focus on what you're doing now rather than worrying about what's going to happen or what might. Or stop, stop focusing on the, on the what ifs. You know, focus on the now. Consistency is something I've really strived this year to achieve. And I think I finally found my sort of groove with it. And I'm really happy with it because consistency in life will achieve, like, greatness. Like, as cheesy as it sounds, it's so true. If you look at fitness, for example, and working out, if you're consistent with your workouts, you'll start seeing consistent gains. You'll start seeing you know, changes to your body in a healthier way if you view it like that. It's without saying consistency in the gym or at anything will get you better. But it's actually accepting, it's actually looking at consistency and how to achieve it is what ch- has helped me. So, I, you know, lockdown in, in March, April, May really helped me take a step back again because life just stopped completely. I took a step back. I looked at how can I achieve consistency? What do I want to achieve consistency in? And why do I want to achieve consistency? And, you know, answering these questions and always asking, why again help me you know it helped me give me that why it gave me my why and why i want to do everything it gave me that why and why i want to do what i want to do you know especially with fitness for example again i want to feel i want to feel more healthier within my body and so for me to achieve that i have to hit the gym a bit more i need to be running consistently so consistency is what has helped me feel healthier and that's obviously something that I strive to do. Never ever give up. No matter how hard times are, no matter how hard life hits you in the face, always stand back up. Because I promise you it's worth it. In the long run, it's always worth it. There's always a sunny side to the dark days. And no matter how low you go, there's always a comeback. There's always a road back. I want people to understand that no matter what fight you're going through, you aren't ever alone. There's always people out there going through the same thing. There's always people you can talk to. There's always people that you can reach out to to, for assistance or, or like I said, even just a chat. I talk to talk to them. Just just 
just don't give up because life is so much more life is worth it i promise you that Our life is full of ups and downs but the ups always overtake the downs so no matter how hard you get hit just keep standing back up and keep pushing on because it will get better 2020 has been a rough year um not just for me personally but for the whole world obviously it's it's been i guess we're living in, in i guess in, in history you know that it would be in history books later on you know 30 40 years on will be will be in history books people are going through hard times right now and the message i want to i guess let sit with people is just again don't give up it's hard times but i promise you you know it's getting gonna get better it's gonna get better and once you adopt that mindset there of never giving up you always stand back up on your two feet and you'll keep pushing and achieving greater things within yourself thank you all for watching if you have and then sir i'll see you a year